It's such a joy to stand up here this morning with my family, my lovely wife, Mary Lindsay, our triplet boys, Maverick, Warner, and Cruz, our oldest daughter, Harper, and our youngest, Haven. We come to this time of celebrating and remembering Advent. And the Latin word means coming. In that way, we, we celebrate and we await the coming of Christmas, the coming of Jesus Christ. It's the prophet Isaiah who tells us to rejoice because God himself is coming. And just as in weeks past, we've lit these candles that have reminded us of the hope of God and the love of God. Today we celebrate and we light the joy candle, the joy that reminds us that our God is a God that answers prayers. As we keep that in mind, we're going to read a story in just a moment from Zechariah, or I'm sorry, from Luke about Zechariah. And part of God's divine plan is how God reveals and answers the prayers of his people. So my wife now is going to read from Luke chapter 1, verse 11 through 17. An angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing to the right of the altar of incense. When Zechariah saw him, he was startled and overcome with fear. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zechariah, because your prayer has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you will name him John. There will be joy and delight for you, and many will rejoice at his birth. For he will be great in the sight of the Lord, and will never drink wine or beer. He will be filled with the Holy Spirit while still inside his mother's womb. He will turn many of the sons of Israel to the Lord their God, and he will go before him in the spirit and power of Elijah to turn the hearts of fathers to their children and the disobedient to the understanding of the righteous to make ready for the Lord a prepared people. <laughs> you can't script this stuff up here. <laughs> when Jesus came, when he was born in Bethlehem, the angels brought good news, and that good news was for all people. The good news of Jesus' birth and the promise of shalom are still great tidings of joy for us today. As we light the candle this morning, may the joy of the Lord overflow in your hearts as his joy to the world. As we move into this time of prayer, when we focus on a God that answers our prayers, a God that listens, a God that is available to us, a God that we can know and call Father. I think of my own, my own children. <laughs> That's just fun. I think of my own children and my boys, and one thing they love, they're four. And there's times where they're talking to me, and obviously there's a lot going on. And there's times where I'm not keyed in on them. But what they love to do is take my face, their little hands on my face, and make me look at them in the face to make sure I'm paying attention. And for a believer, that's kind of what prayer is. It's us being able to come up to our Father, our loving Father in heaven, to take Him by the face and to simply let Him know what's going on in our lives. To tell Him the joys and the hurt, the sorrow, the pain that we're experiencing. To let Him know, God, here's where we need. We need You. And that's what this time is for. We dedicate this time in our service each week for us to lovingly engage our Heavenly Father in conversation. So you might find it most comfortable just to stay right where you are. At the same time, this altar is open and there's those times in life where we just need to come and bow before God in prayer. Our pastor will be up here as well. I'd love for you to come and pray for him as he prepares to deliver God's word. But pray with me now. Mm -hmm. 